Flashy concept cars and revol revolutionary new releases heralded the return of American automakers at the Detroit Auto Show this week. <coughs> Rumble Seat columnist Dan Neal was there and he joins us with the best and the worst offerings on the floor. Hi, Dan. Hello. So one thing we know is that American auto sales are way up. You have some concerns about how they're getting there. Tell me your concerns. Just that, uh, you know, it, 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 you walk through the halls of the auto show and it's very bubblicious. You know, there's a lot of cheap money out there. There's a lot of incentives. There's a lot of drive for uh, volume. And uh, there's moderating gas prices. And uh, uh, along the way, there's a, a sense that, uh, you know, you really have to grab uh, all the market share you can. And so it's a feeding, feeding frenzy out there. Uh, and everyone knows it's, you know, it, it's going to uh, pop. It's just a question of time. All right, scary possibility. Let's move on to something a little lighter. Which car did you think was the best in show? Well, the most important car was the Ford F-150 pickup truck, which they are now going to build F-Series trucks uh, with uh, aluminum bodies, steel frame aluminum bodies. It saves uh, on the order of 700 pounds uh, in some models. That is a stunning figure. It really is. As I say in my column, you know, this might be the single biggest real-world improvement in American gasoline consumption in the fleet, the civilian fleet, uh, since the Arab oil embargo. This, these things are bought a quarter, uh, three quarters of a million were sold last year. They roll up a lot of miles. Uh, this aluminum truck will save a lot of gas. And so I think Alan Mulally should get the Presidential Medal of Freedom. <laughs> now you didn't I, love everything at this show. Tell me about the Chrysler 200. Eh, you know, the Chrysler 200 is, uh, this is commodity card building. Fiat, Chrysler, under a lot of price pressure. They have done well with what they have, but the one thing they left off in this car was any sense of styling. Styling is very inert, very generic, and, uh, you know, I think it fails, uh, lets down the rest of the car, which is mechanically pretty interesting. All right, what's the best concept car you saw when you were there? Oh, the best concept. Maybe the best and worst, you know, to, uh, Toyota had this thing, the FT1, which was... Uh, a, uh, you know, it was designed for sort of the Gran Turismo game space. And, uh, you know, it's supposed to hint at the new Supra. Uh, but it's, it's a, it looks like a cartoon. It's big. It looks like a, a, a blood clot uh, in a wind tunnel. Uh, so it's a really exotic and uh, thrilling look. But, uh, you know, kind of let me down because I was hoping to see the real next Supra. And uh, the one that I wanted to drive away, though, was the Porsche Carrera Targa with the really cool vintage aluminum band across the, uh, the roof rack, uh, uh, roof hoop. That uh, harkens back to the 60s, and it is just a very charismatic detail. Porsche does it again. I got to say, it does not surprise me that that's the one you, you want to drive away with. I guess. Dan Neal, thanks for joining us. All right, thanks.